Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice with CostelloWellness.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about estrogen replacement or hormone replacement therapy in women. There's three hormones we're going to talk about. First is estrogen or estradiol, the most common one that women think about with estrogen replacement or menopause. The second is progesterone and the third is testosterone. So when we give a woman hormones for menopause, we're typically thinking about estradiol or estrogen replacement. That's hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, the main hormone related symptoms, at least what women think about with uh, menopause. So estrogen, very specifically, you do not want to do estrogen, you want to do estradiol, that's the bioequivalent hormone. When a typical doctor gives you hormone replacement, they're going to give you something like Prempro. That's the prescription. Go to the pharmacy and get it. Hormone replacement, and that's a combination of conjugated equine estrogen, or literally horse urine estrogen. So they take pregnant mares, collect their urine, and they give you the estrogens out of the horse urine and a hormone called Provera which is a synthetic progesterone and both of those have been associated with heart attacks and stroke in women and something called the Women's Health Initiative. So if we give you estrogen replacement it always has to be estradiol not horse urine estrogen or any other type of estrogen like estrogen in a birth control pill that's different and that is heart attack and stroke causing potentially. So when we give you estradiol, we always, always give it to you by a route other than by mouth. So they do make an estradiol pill. You never wanna do estradiol by mouth. You can either do it as a patch, um, like the Vivel dot patch that you put on once or twice a week. You can do it as a pill, which you don't want to do. You can do it as a cream or put it vaginally, or you can do it as a pellet where we actually will take estradiol pellet and put it in your soft tissue and your buttock fat, and that lasts for three months. When we give you the estradiol, we don't give it to you by mouth because of something called first pass phenomenon. So when you take a hormone like estradiol by mouth, it goes through the liver first and it gets turned into multiple smaller products including estradiol and most of those products are inflammatory and may actually thicken your blood or cause a heart attack so as an example when I give you estradiol as a pill I'm giving you between one and three milligrams a day that's 90 to 270 milligrams every three months of estradiol. If I give that same exact medicine as a pellet or as a gel or as a topical patch, I'm giving you between six and 10 milligrams in 90 days. So six milligrams versus up to 270 milligrams is a good example of why you don't wanna take it by mouth. Second is progesterone, and if you have your uterus, you always have to take progesterone to balance the estradiol or estrogen, otherwise you can get lining of the uterus to grow and bleeding and actually cancer of the lining of the uterus. So if you have your uterus, you always, always take progesterone with it. Now, if you had a hysterectomy and that's why you're in menopause, then you don't have to take progesterone. You can take just estradiol, but progesterone is good for sleep and it's good for mood. So you can take progesterone as a pill. Um, we give you micronized progesterone, which is actually safe to take by mouth. You never want to take Provera or the synthetic progesterone. Um, you can take progesterone as a cream uh, or as a vaginal suppository. Uh, progesterone can make you a little bit sleepy, so you don't want it in your system 24 hours a day. You'd rather take the capsule and do it at bedtime, and that'll actually give you sleep benefits right away. All right. Um, lastly is testosterone. So men, we absolutely talk about testosterone replacement in older men, uh, in menopause, but women get all the same symptoms that men do when their testosterone levels go down. So decreased sex drive, loss of muscle mass, gaining fat, lack of energy, concentration, mood, those are all testosterone related symptoms and women absolutely can take testosterone as part of their hormone replacement therapy. It's separate from estradiol but um, it is absolutely beneficial. Same thing with testosterone. We never want to take testosterone by mouth, so we either take it as a topical gel or as pellet therapy in the office. Now, there is the man version, so Androgel and Axeron, you can go to the pharmacy and get those off the shelf. They're about $600 a month, but there is no female version of that, so that's always either going to be custom compounded at the pharmacy that you get a prescription 
or the pellet therapy for testosterone. So those are the three main hormones. Um, estradiol, make sure you're always taking estradiol. Make sure your doctor does not give it to you as a pill, so either a patch, a cream, or a pellet. Um, progesterone is good for sleep, good for mood. Even if you've had a hysterectomy, most of my women still take progesterone because they literally feel better when they take it. But if you have your uterus, you always have to take progesterone. Your preference is to do that as a bedtime, either dissolve on the tongue or as a capsule, and that helps you sleep right away. And then testosterone, separate from what you're used to thinking about menopause, so sex drive, mood, energy, muscle mass, loss of fat, osteoporosis, all testosterone related symptoms. So there's different ways to give you the hormones. You want to make sure that you're seeing a doctor that is uh, well versed in hormone replacement that they never ever give you Prempro or something like Prempro because of the cardiovascular and stroke risks associated. Dr. Castello, thanks.